everybody. So you know that today is special and we are here at Budweiser in Fort Collins, Colorado. I think we've mentioned that before. What makes this place special is not so much the fact of the brewery is now celebrating their 30th year anniversary here, but the fact that Budweiser is an icon all itself. It was created in 1876 by Carl Conrad in St. Louis, Missouri. And one of the things that we all associate with Budweiser or Anheuser-Busch, if you will, are the Clydesdales. They are beautiful and amazing creatures. Became an icon of the company in 1933, right after Prohibition. What a great way to celebrate bringing beer back into the home. So, as you can see, it's snowy and beautiful, but we've come to see some special guests. Come inside. After you. Ask me where I come from Here's what I tell everyone I was born by God's dear grace In an extraordinary place Where the stars and stripes And the eagle flies It's a big old land Streams. Hey Extreme RVers, you will never guess where we are today. We are at Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser Corp Corporation and Company here in Fort Collins, Colorado. We're here with Shelby and these amazing looking Clydesdales behind us. We got a great treat today. They're not normally here from what I understand. Found out today that they're going to be here. When do they leave? We leave on the 24th. On the 24th, so today's 21st, January, they're gonna leave in a couple days. They're only here about 30 days out of the year yeah. they travel. We are with the West Coast team that does both, you said west of the Mississippi River, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> this is an amazing treat. And we wanted to show all of you, you do come here a couple times a year though, right? Yes, we do. Um, it just depends what our schedule is, but we try to make it here a few times a year to make appearances and do our camera day where people can come and pet the horses and take photos with them. Pet the horses, that's my favorite part. And then they do have camera days, everyone can do that. That's always on Budweiser.com. Yeah, I think it's the Budweiser tour website. Definitely, because there's also tours. We saw a great restaurant and gift shop, which we're gonna show you a little bit later too. Another wonderful thing about today that we're here is this is the 30th year anniversary that Budweiser has had their plan here in Fort Collins, Colorado. So this is a big treat and we're gonna take you all with us. So we're gonna walk down this way a little bit here and <laughs> we're gonna give away your secret. Can we give away the name yes, secret? Can. We can give away the name secret. Do you see these wonderful names here? I was all like, oh, Pee Wee, why did they name you that? You're such a majestic animal. You poor baby. That's not their names. <laughs> no, we just have them there for display purposes. Keep the horse comfortable and not having his name shouted at him all day by tourists. That's right, because I'm sure it would be confusing as an animal constantly hearing your name and your animals are used to being alert to when they're yep. called and things like that. Exactly. All right, wow, so we're here with Red and Shelby. Hello, how are you? It's such an honor to meet you. Look at the size of this amazing creature. I am terrifyingly excited right now. <laughs> but I actually am getting to touch one. Hello, Red, how are you? Oh, wow, how much do they weigh? So Clydesdales average about 2,000 pounds a piece. He is a little above average. Uh, the average height of a horse, Clydesdale would be 18 hands. Okay. So that's six foot at the top of his withers right here. Okay. But Red's probably closer to six four. Wow, fantastic. Now you said he was younger. Yep, he's six. So he still has a little bit more growing that he can do. Okay. Um, Clydesdales mature a little bit later than, you know, like the light horses. When, how, like how old do they normally get? Um, on the road, we have our range, ages range from five to 12 on the road. Five to 12? Yeah. And now, is he custom to everybody? I mean, this doesn't make him nervous. Oh, yeah. I'm no. just the only one nervous. We make a lot of appearances each year. Uh, we just did the Rose Parade, and it was Red's first Rose Parade. Oh, okay. And there are thousands upon thousands of people that attend the parade. Well, I mean, clearly they have to be very well trained. They're they're very well coordinated because they. Absolutely. I've seen them. The last time we saw them was in Bar Harbor, Maine, in 2015, and we okay. didn't even know they were going to be there at the time. 
and we just got lucky and saw them out there and it was very beautiful and it's snowing outside in case you guys missed that we took some footage on the way here but that's why we're inside the stables with them today and again being picture day people will be able to come into the stable hi buddy and uh get some photos meantime how long does it take to groom them to prep them to for show it takes a while yesterday we spent all day washing all 10 horses um today we'll get two of the horses ready for the camera day we'll get their legs washed we'll curry them get any loose hair off and brush them and then get them ready for the show here for is showing they let them run loose in the pasture that's in the back but of course because of the snow they might wind up looking like this I don't think that's what anyone really wants but again we had a wonderful lunch over here and it was fantastic the food was great the drinks were great and it was perfect price with a lot of food walking down this way obviously they have it open during the summertime winter time we have some photos inside great gift shop and it's absolutely stunning don't forget to get your uh what is it cameraman beer your tour <laughs> beer garden tour i believe is what it's called that's the special tour you have a regular tour that you can take that is posted on budweiser.com where you can schedule whatever you want but you want the special vip one which is the beer garden and still snowing we're gonna head back to the rig where we can get warm and get all this video up for you that we've been putting together for you today. We're so glad you can join us and we will see you again soon out on the road. No offense to you, don't waste your time. Here's why.
Happy New